Hi, my name is Hardy Rupan and I am the man in the wild. And today we are going on a kayak adventure. Stay tuned. Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon. Kayaking is a sport not commonly practiced in South Trinidad. But there are lots of places to go kayaking. Lots of beautiful places. Like the Carcass Lagoon. If you have a kayak and would like to go on some kayaking adventures with me, check my link in the description. Now, let's go kayaking. Today, we are going to explore the wetlands. We have Mr. Neil Sukram from the YouTube channel Southwest Adventures. And he is also a member of the, what's the name of the group? Neil? For love of the environment. You can check us out on Facebook. Um, for love of the environment. For love of the environment. They are on Facebook. And it's a group that keeps the wetland clean, neat and presentable. Today I am joining with Neil and his group in doing a bit of cleanup and exploration of the wetland. So stay tuned for that. This is the first and the largest of the three lagoons found in Ikakas. This is the Great Ikakas Lagoon. The lagoon spans both sides of the roadway and is connected by waterways under the road. The lagoon is quite large and goes way beyond the boundaries that you see here. It is from this point we will launch our kayaks. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. The sun has just risen. It's about 6.45 and we had a smooth launch with our kayaks. Right, so we have launched out into the... You're looking nice, man. You're looking nice. You're looking like one of those um, National Geographic Explorer there, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice beautiful place. scenery. Huh? Beautiful scenery. Beautiful day, man. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Wow. The Great Ikakas Lagoon waterways span all the way to Columbus Bay and goes way beyond the boundary that you see here. The further you go, the more lagoon there is to explore. Cayman seems to be joining our adventure. There is a Cayman ahead of us. We will head towards him. Contrary to popular belief, Caymans usually do not attack humans. In fact, Caymans are usually afraid of humans. And they have good reason to be, as many humans do eat Cayman. Wow, did you see that? That is one beautiful Cayman. This is a very healthy Cayman. He has lots of power. Most Cayman's attack was a result of someone venturing too close to a nesting female. This is lovely. I wanted to do this more than a year now. So I finally take the opportunity to come down and enjoy this wetland. <laughs> I think that's the key the Cayman is our tour guide. I feel the Cayman has more power than us. And he knows this one better than us, so he's given us a tour. I think he has more power than us. I'm just gonna put it up get it up for a He went under. A large Cayman may attack a small dog or child, so I do not recommend you leave your dogs or children unattended near the water's edge. Look at this beautiful view. It's now about 7 a.m. What a beautiful Saturday morning. What's your, what's, your, what's, what's your take on this so far, Rupan? This is really interesting. Look at how much fish just dive in from there. Yeah. I think Rupan is enjoying this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Look at how many fishes are moving in front of me. Yeah. This, is such a, this is such a natural, um, I would say, untouched ecosystem here you know 
And um, we, really, we really, really need to do more to protect this tree too. Always call a wetland, it, it do dry in the dry season, eh? Because I have walked all here in this very area during the dry season. Yeah, I have seen some dry seasons where it went totally dry, but not every dry season. There are times that it does retain water. The bed of the entire lagoon is very level. It is made up of sand, not mud. Presently, the lagoon is about two feet, six inches deep. Its maximum depth during the rainy season is usually about three feet. This means it is very safe to kayak in the lagoon as you can stand almost anywhere. There's an osprey that just took off from the top of those mangrove trees and is flying across the road presently. If you'd like to learn more about the osprey, you can check out my documentary on ospreys. If you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. There are lots of life in this swamp. I'm seeing fishes moving everywhere, caimans, birds of various species, plant life, various types. What is the main type of fish that is found in this ecosystem um, here? You could get like um, tapons, tilapias, uh, snooks, uh, mullets, and um, cuscarub. Right, so we get a mixture of fresh and saltwater fish. Yeah, because what happened, this wetland actually is connected to the, um, there's a place called Ikoka, which is uh, a river that um, exits at Columbus Bay. So, so that's, that's, that's how it goes with it. With this um, body of water here. So the wetland is connected to the sea. Yeah, it is connected to the sea. Fishes that can convert from salt to fresh do come up and find a home here in the wetlands which is tapan and snook as well as mullet yeah so you get a mix of salt and freshwater fishes correct the tilapias are not natural to trinidad they were introduced in aid of the mosquitoes because of the wetland there are lots of mosquitoes and the tilapia was introduced for population control of the mosquitoes Dip, dip your there. Let's see how deep it is. Where and dip your. Yeah, yeah, about, that's about two feet deep. About two feet, yeah. Approximately, yeah. I know probably you all are curious to me. So it looks deep because of the dark texture of the water, but it's only about two feet deep, maybe three feet deep, but hey, it's relatively I'm, level. This foot is looking really, really nice. Though. Oh, you're looking from the GoPro there, you could, you could see it or? Yeah, amazing green. Really nice and the footage. sunlight is bring out the footage. And there are, there are many areas that you could traverse into and explore. The Icacus wetlands is the third largest wetlands in the country of Trinidad. The first is the Caroni wetlands. The second is the Nariva wetlands. There are three lagoons in the Carcass area. Upon entering the Carcass, the first expanse of water is the Great Icacus Lagoon. The second expanse of water is the San Jose Lagoon, and the third is very close to the Carcass village itself, which is the Hikakas Lagoon. And this beautiful plant you see here is the white lotus. 
we have explored a great deal of the lagoon, but there is much more to explore. I'll take you on an adventure another time. Now, let's get to the task at hand. Let's do some trash collecting. It's a good idea to stay hydrated while you're out on the water. Plastic, eh? very dangerous for the environment. Yeah, it's a plastic bag here. Plastic wrapping. Have a whole lot of plastic wrapping on the end here. Plastic and the ceratex, very dangerous. Animals mistake these for foods, get themselves entangled, consume ceratex, it affects your digestive system. It block up, yeah, it block up, kill them eventually. Yeah, because they wouldn't be able to eat anything with the ceratex inside of them and they will die. So it's very dangerous. Let's avoid getting this in the water. Yeah, if you are enjoying this video, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and even leave a comment. Alright, an old air freshener tin. This could have gone in the garbage. We are right next to the road. The vegetation here traps most of the garbage which prevents it from getting further into the lagoon which is a very good thing but it is very bad that when people drive by here they just toss the garbage out of the window not all the garbage end up getting stuck in the vegetation here some of the garbage go into the lagoon and that is where it is very dangerous the animals think it is food they consume it and they die we so let's, let's help protect them. We just cover a small area so far, but we are continuing our work. So stay tuned, right? Right. This is five minutes. In five minutes, we were able to collect this garbage here, and this isn't moving through the vegetation, so it's a little bit slower. So let's do our part and try to keep the garbage from entering the wetlands. The garbage that do escape gets caught further down the lagoon area. And if we take a look here in the vegetation, there's a whole lot of garbage. Once the winds pick up, they will travel on and they get further into the lagoon. These will cause problems with the wildlife. 
that is here apart from making the place unsightly it does take a while to maneuver and collect the garbage But if we don't collect them, all of this would end up permanently in the ecosystem. Beautiful. Everything is as it should be. So after about an hour and a half kayaking around and picking up garbage, we were able to collect these three bags. Plastic, Cyrotex, glass bottles, various types of packaging. It is important that while you're traveling, keep your garbage with you. Disposing of your garbage on the side of the road leads to a lot of problems. Flooding, damage to the wildlife, damage to the ecosystem. It is very important that you take care of the environment. Please practice keeping your garbage until you could dispose of it properly. Just by disposing of the garbage on the side of the road here, it creates a serious problem for the ecosystem. Let's all enjoy this beautiful wetland. Come down, visit, take pictures, make memories, leave a good feeling about the environment take your garbage with you keep it green and if you want to join us this is something that we do regularly if you want to join us it's voluntary um, this is the first time we're doing a video on it um, first time Mr. Sukram and I doing a video on it but we have been doing this quite a while especially Mr. Sukram he has been doing this for years there have been times that they took truckloads yeah, truckloads of rubbish, of rubbish the out of the wetland here and uh, it's all voluntary all voluntary all voluntary right so you can support you can join with us leave a comment tell us if you would like to join with us and we can all take care of this beautiful environment Please consider supporting our channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell icon.